All right, we are back again with my mini assistant. All right, perfect. Let me get you your power tool. Here's your power tool. Take these bolts off. Put it on there and then push the trigger. Good job. All right, next one. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, all right, do this one. Woo! What is up, everybody? My name is Dane Thompson. Welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So, you already saw the boy getting after it. He did the, it's funny because I believe it's called the lower intake gasket, I want to call that thing. I call it the valley cover, but I don't know. I forget what the. We went back and forth at AutoZone or whatever it was, O'Reilly, to find the right part. But anyway, um, I got that, the timing cover seal, and all that fun stuff. So what we're going to do today is I found all the bolts. I got the timing cover that's been cleaned right here. We got the seal that obviously goes down. But before we put that on, we need an oil pump. The oil pump actually goes right around this bad boy, the crank right here. So Molly, once again, stepped it up. They sent me a brand new um, oil pump. But I had to dig the old one out and find the hardware so we could install the new one. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to throw this down on the crank and then get that buttoned up. So you put the cover, timing cover on the front of this. So let me slam that thing on real quick and then we'll bring you guys back to decide what we're doing next. All right, so here's a look. I've already opened this to look at it and I think you guys saw the unbox. I believe this is just a standard pump. And it's a melling, if you guys were wondering. So, it's a melling 295. So, this should just be the standard deal pump. Brand new in the bag. And then it does come with the O rings for the pickup tube. And it explains it on here which one you need. This guy is critical. You got to get the right one for the pickup tube and the pump. So, it explains it in here. Make sure you use the proper one or you're going to have oil pressure issues. Ask me how I know. So that is the new pump. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Bam, new versus a little used over here. A little bit. So the fun part about this pump though too is I didn't know where the hardware was because it's so separate. So it's really easy to match the color of the hardware. Uh, with the pump so all this stuff will go in the new guy we'll stuff the new guy in i'm going to put a little bit of oil in here spin it around um, get everything lubed in the new guy before we slam it on home so let me do that i'll pour some oil in here and then we will take and put this on the crank and uh, get rolling All right, so we got the oil pump on, then I put the cover on, and you'll notice I loosen everything up. There's a lot of slop in this, and if you put it like all the way to one side and you torqued it down, when you put the balancer on, this dude over here, it's gonna rub just on one side. So what you need to do is you leave these to where it can basically self-center, and then you know you get a better chance of it being obviously centered versus if I just locked it down like that, We've got way more room on here, way less here, and it's just gonna wear this thing out um, uneven. It's gonna leak fluid, you're gonna be upset. All right, so we got the balancer in place. I tapped it till it had enough threads to grab it and then put it on. And then this is kind of snugged on, but technically we've got one more thing to worry about, which is where these two surfaces meet. So this is down a little further than, you know, I like it. So when we land the oil pan, which I think we can do next, We'll get that flush and then we'll drive these home and that'll be good for that gasket. So let's uh, flip this bad boy over and we will do the oil pan. And I'll show you guys, I got a uh, eBay special. All right, here we go. Check this dude out. So I want to say this is about $100 cheaper. Yeah, we get $269. A body Mustang, A body Mustang Fox Nova 
it's like everything. But anyway, 270. They give you a gasket, a pan, a pickup tube. We'll pull this out of here. Got the pickup. Check it out, it's provisions for two bolts, which is pretty slick. You got a sweet cast pan. This one is actually super shallow. Uh, and then this will help me with travel. The thing that I liked about this is it has bungs on either side for oil return from the turbos. And then obviously we're way more shallow. Here's a truck pan. Look at that donkey. Look at that compared to, let's just put it next to it. So yeah. And then this has it, the boss for that. You can see we're a little more shallow up here. This technically should be what I have on the Malibu um, because the one I have on the Malibu is still too fat and it hits her uh, steering. But we're gonna deal with that at a later date. Anyway, so you get all that. And on top of that, they send you hardware. All the freaking hardware. You get the O-ring for the pickup. Everything is in the bag. So let's see. And then they give you this little tray. It sits down in here, obviously, just like that one. So, I mean, you got <clears throat> even the oil filter adapter. I have to see what size that is. I wanna make sure that's the proper size. If not, we'll just steal that one. But yeah, dude, they even got that guy. Brand new bolts. Look at this. This is killer. There's your drain pickup. Block these off just in case you don't use them. All the fun stuff. So we got this big dog flipped over. Um, this is a windage tray. I think it was sandblast, so I guess I could wipe, blow it off at least. But um, I found this, it's the windage tray we're gonna use. And then I dug out 10 of the bolts that hold that on. So first thing, I'm gonna put this bad boy in here, throw the gasket down, and then we're gonna test fit because from the video I saw, you basically have to cut this front portion of the windage tray off. I believe it was just from here, like this whole section just goes bye-bye. Might be right in front of these, might be behind it. I'm not gonna watch the video, I'll just test fit it for myself. And then we will also test fit the pickup tube uh, to make sure that this lands flush as well. So we don't have to trim any of this. So whatever we gotta trim to make sure everything is flush and mounts right um, is what we're gonna do. So let me uh, blow this thing off, clean these up a little bit and then assemble this, and then we will bring it back for a test fit. We got the ITC installed, and here is one thing I'm gonna do different. So it comes with this bung for the oil filter. So you screw this in, that's where your oil filter screws on. I can't even talk, oil filter. But this is a standard truck oil filter um, thread. It's the same pitch, but they're a different size. So I don't know. Probably hard to show you guys. So I don't I don't know how to if you guys can see that or not, but if, if I keep the bottoms flush, this one's a little fatter. So I'm gonna run the stock truck oil filter adapter. And the other reason I'd like to do this too is this is the size filter my car takes, because the Malibu has an LS. I want everybody to be the same across the board. So if this indeed is a different size, I don't want to deal with having a different filter size. I believe that may end up being like a car uh, size filter versus the truck. And like I said, it's really hard to see, but that one is actually fatter on the threads, I believe. So if I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section, but I'm just going to go with this because I know for a fact this will fit a truck filter. So that's what I'm doing. So just FYI. So I started just tentatively sliding this together so we can throw the gasket on test fit it and i went through the remainder of the hardware these guys even give you new hardware because typically even like in a holly application generally you save 
your oil pump bolt and then you reuse it and there's one. Not only does it have provisions for both, they give you hardware that's new and then it's also hex so you could fit in there, right? Because you couldn't get a wrench on that side. You could on this side, but not down here. They've already got you covered. So man, this, I'm sold on this. This, I'll tell you what, this is the best oil pan value in my opinion. I've had two other Holly pans, I believe, and they're very nice, but this is right there with them and they supply the hardware and a gasket and it's like a hundred dollars cheaper you really can't go wrong this thing i don't even know how holly's competing because people don't know about this guy yet but uh sorry holly i do like holly obviously i'm a big fan but these guys have got it dialed for the oil pan all right so we've got just a couple bolts holding this in place let me throw this bad boy on and then we'll see where uh where we hit Yeah, definitely not flush. Alright, so we are definitely hung up on here. So let me investigate, but yeah, you can see. So it's hung up on that on that uh windage tray. But if you look at the pan, see that guy? This is probably where my issue because this is where it's flat, where it comes way in. So I would say probably everything front of this guy. So let me pull this off and we'll look and we'll see what's what's ahead of this bolt. So I'm gonna say the third bolt back. You know, it's, it's almost like in between, but let me double check that. All right, so yeah, if you look at the windage tray, right, right where that dip here is, is about this guy right in between this bolt. So, I mean, really makes no sense to cut it there because you have a bolt that's odd. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll just not use these guys and then we'll just go behind, right behind here. So this dude swung by to uh, visit. So you can't come over and leave here without getting uh, Uncle Gus. There you go. Now you're riding. What year is this thing? Uh, I don't know, seven, no, 82 to 85 or 86, 87, something like that. I don't know. Then was it, is it six liter? Six liter. Dude, he cleans up a lot in here, man. It looks nice. I took all that. Uh, he clean, yeah, I did all this. So, but we're going to clean. Oh, it's going to look even cleaner with the, with the new setup on it. All right, the wagon is leaving with his Uncle Gus sticker. That thing's freaking funny, dude. That thing cracks me up. Anyway, um, back to the oil pan. So we made our adjustment, which is essentially making that portion go away. And then we will test fit this guy. And then I do have the gasket in place because we'll need the thickness, you know, because obviously it would stand off the block that much more uh, with a gasket versus without. All right, moment of truth. Drum roll. Bing. All right, well, let's take it. Now that that is down, we are flush. Yeah, I feel good about that. So what we'll do now, let me take this thing off. Uh, we'll put the rest of these bolts in. We will put the O-ring on, the oil pump, all that fun stuff. And then we will snug zip this down. We gotta put silicone on the edges. We got all kinds of fun stuff. So let me uh, pull this off and we'll kind of go over what you need to do to lock this thing down. All right, I want to show you guys this because it's been an issue for me in the past. It calls for these different things and it shows you the different tubes and it tells you when you need the green or when you need the black. The tube they give you in this kit, it was straight like this. I tried the black and I was able to take it Put it on there and then push it in and it kind of pops into place but you just push it with not a lot of force and i've done the dance with these enough 
to know that if you can just take it and push it on there and you don't have to struggle a bit, it's not the right size, at least in my experience. So I went with the green O-ring, uh, put a little bit of grease around it, grease it up, grease the pump, and then we slid it in. It took some effort, but it goes in. And then um, now we've got the safety of both bolts and a little touch of red Loctite on these, snug them down. This should be rock and roll. And then you always wanna tighten this first before you hit this guy. That way this is seated and it doesn't obviously screw it up. If you have this locked down, you could have issues with it seating properly. So these are locked down in place. Got these guys all done. We'll just slam this guy home here. That guy. And there you go. What we will do now is before we get too ahead of ourselves, this area here, here, and then remember our cover up here, these all need a little bit of silicone in order to seal properly before you go ahead and slam it on home. So the other thing I'm gonna do too is I'm gonna put the pan back on. I don't need the camera for this, but this is, uh, we'll loosen this up so it moves around a little bit. We'll snug a few bolts down the pan so everything's flush, and then we'll snug this down a little bit. We'll come back and silicone it, and we'll do the dance. So that is how you get these edges sealed up. So don't forget to do that. Don't get too ahead of yourself. But let me get this all sealed up, good to go, and we'll bring you guys back. We are done with the oil pan install. As far as I am concerned, this is the best LS swap oil pan on the planet. As far as value goes right now, fit, finish, everything, I don't think you can go wrong. The only complaint I would have a little bit is, it's not even a complaint, it is to note that on the hardware they give you, it is not rounded off like the factory hardware, so you can't just get all willy-nilly and zip it home with this. You gotta basically start the threads and then bang it on home. Ask me how I know because we got a couple in there little cockeyed and it didn't want to roll so uh yeah other than that though uh you just got to cut the windage tray and everything fits like a glove i used the green o-ring um i couldn't be happier so again this oil pan rocks thank you to molly for supplying the oil pump and we are getting close on the twinnebago motor we got a few more things a couple more tricks up my sleeve we'll get this thing dialed in here sooner or later we're gonna stab this thing in uh, before you know it. Other than that, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, tell everybody. I'm out.